In this video, we are going to talk about the top 11 ancient Chinese inventions. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The ancient Chinese have been forward thinking and motivated. They managed to meet their daily needs by inventing and creating some of history's most important and long-lasting items. Ancient Chinese creations date back to the Paleolithic period, and the Chinese were always one step ahead of their contemporaries when it came to inventing valuable items. They invented four of the world's most important inventions, the compass, gunpowder, paper, and printing, but the list doesn't end there. Here are the top 11 most famous Chinese inventions. 11. Making paper, 50 to 121 AD. Prior to the invention of paper, people wrote on various materials such as wood, stone, and bone. Around 2200 BC, the Egyptians discovered papyrus, a type of reed that could be used to write on by overlapping thin strips that had been soaked in water. Papyrus was the source of the word, paper. Sei Lun, or Chai Lun, an imperial court official, invented paper in ancient China around 105 AD during the reign of the Han Emperor He Di. A recent archaeological survey, however, indicates that paper was invented 200 years earlier and was used by the ancient Chinese military. Sei Lun pounded the fibers of the mulberry tree bark into a sheet. Later, he discovered that adding hemp and old fishnets to the pulp could improve the paper's quality. Paper quickly became the new writing material, and it only took a few years for it to be widely used throughout China. Paper was later transported to the rest of the world via the Silk Road. 10. Silk. Silk was invented during the Neolithic period in the 4th millennium BC. Silk was widely used in a variety of industries, including writing, fishing, and musical instruments, in addition to clothing. Silk was initially used primarily by emperors and upper-class society, but it eventually spread to the rest of the population. Silk became more than just a commodity during the Han Dynasty, 202 BC to 220 AD. It was given to a deserving Chinese citizen or government official as a reward. Silk grew to be a significant part of the Chinese economy. Around 300 AD, Japan and the Middle East began cultivating silk, and the Crusades introduced the concept of silk production to Western Europe. This resulted in an economic boom, and the value and exports of Chinese silk began to fall. However, China currently dominates the luxury silk market. 9. The Seismograph. Zhang Heng, 78-139 AD, of the Han Dynasty invented the first seismograph, called, Hufang Didong, in 132 AD to measure earth movements and seasonal winds. The seismograph was a copper urn-like instrument with a central pendulum. The eight dragons on the surface, each with a copper in its mouth, indicate the eight different directions, east, south, west, north, southeast, northeast, southwest, and northwest. When there was an earthquake, the dragon's mouth closest to the source of the earthquake opened, and the ball fell into the frog's mouth, making a sound. This informed people about the earthquake's location. 8. T. 2737 BC. In 2737 BC, the Chinese emperor Shenong discovered tea in ancient China. Shenong enjoyed drinking hot water. He and his army stopped for a rest one day while marching and his servant prepared some boiling water for him. When a brown leaf fell into the water, it turned the water brown. The emperor drank it after the servant presented it to him, and he found it refreshing. Tea was used as a medicine during the Han Dynasty and as a social drink during the Tang Dynasty, 618-907 AD. Tea was not prepared the same way it is today in ancient China. Tea leaves were ground and compressed into a cake. Brick tea, a dried tea cake, was ground in a stone mortar. The tea cake powder was then boiled in a kettle or mixed with hot water. After that, it was served as a hot beverage. During the Tang Dynasty, white tea, compressed tea, was harvested in the early spring when the tea leaves were still silver needles. 7. Acupuncture. Acupuncture has been practiced in ancient China since the Paleolithic period, according to archaeological evidence. Different materials, such as stone knives and bamboo or bone needles used as healing instruments, have been discovered in China. During the reign of Huangdi, the Yellow Emperor, 2697-2597 BC, acupuncture was revolutionized. The Nei Jing, the first book of Chinese medicine, was written between 305 BC and 204 BC. 
It consists of a conversation between Huang Di and his physicist Qi Bo about the entire scope of Chinese medical arts. 6. Drilling for Seeds, 250 BC. Single tube drills were invented around 1500 BC by the Babylonians in ancient Mesopotamia, but they never made it to Europe or Asia. Traditionally, Chinese farmers planted seeds by hand, which was both time-consuming and inefficient. Because of pests and the elements, the majority of the seeds never germinated. The ancient Chinese devised a solution to this problem. During the Zhou dynasty, they invented the seed drill, which allowed them to. It wasn't until the 2nd century BC, however, that they invented a multi-tube iron seed drill, which enabled them to produce food on a larger scale. 5. Deep Drilling, 2nd Century BC Drilling technology was developed by the Chinese to extract brine from beneath the Earth's surface. It was created in the landlocked province of Sichuan, approximately 1,200 miles from the sea, to extract salt from boreholes. Deep drilling borehole technology gradually improved, and the ancient Chinese were eventually able to extract natural gas from them. The gas was transported to its destination via a bamboo pipe and then used as fuel. By the 11th century, the Chinese had developed the ability to drill boreholes up to 3,000 feet deep. In the 1860s, the same technology was used to drill the first petroleum well in California. 4. The Compass The Chinese considered south to be the cardinal direction, and the original compass was made with a lodestone pointing south. This was known as the South Pointer. A lodestone is a type of magnetite mineral that aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. The ancient Chinese discovered that a suspended lodestone could freely turn and point to the magnetic poles. It was primarily used for geomancy and fortune-telling during the Han Dynasty. During the Song Dynasty in the 11th century, the Chinese discovered that the lodestone, which was primarily used for divination, could also be used to indicate a direction for travelers. According to Joseph Needham's book Shorter Science and Civilization in China, Volume 3, the Chinese began to use the compass for navigation between the 9th and 11th centuries. 3. Smelting of Iron and Steel The Chinese used stone arrowheads for fishing and hunting during the Paleolithic period. During the Neolithic period, conflicts between different groups arose, and the Chinese began to transform their farming and fishing tools into lethal weapons. Bronze smelting was perfected during the Shang and Zhou periods to create various weapons and farming tools. During the Zhou Dynasty (1050 BC to 256 BC), an Iron Age began in ancient China, and iron was used to make weapons, farming tools, and household goods. Private iron production was prohibited during the Han Dynasty, and the state began to monopolize the iron smelting industry. 2. The use of gunpowder. Sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate were used to create the first chemical explosive known as gunpowder or black powder, saltpeter. Gunpowder did not appear anywhere. Since the middle of the first century AD, the Chinese had used saltpeter in a variety of medical treatments. Gunpowder was invented during the Tang Dynasty in the 9th century, but the first recorded formula was not discovered until the Song Dynasty in the 11th century. As a military defense, the Chinese used gunpowder and gunpowder-based weaponry. 1. Printing with movable type. The invention of movable clay-type printing by Bai Sheng, 990-1051, during the Northern Song Dynasty, 960-1127, resulted in a major revolution in the history of printing. Making the types, composing the text, printing, and retrieving the movable types were the four stages of the printing process. Later, during the Yuan Dynasty, Wang Zhen reinvented it in 1298. He used over 30,000 wooden movable types to create 100 copies of the Nong Shu, or Book of Agriculture. Over 60,000 Chinese characters are used in the book. Metal movable type printing was invented in the 12th century by Jin, 1115-1234, and Southern Song, 1127-1279, dynasties. It was mostly made of bronze and served as a printing press for money. So that's it for today's video. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification before you go. Thanks for watching.